look was more than disheveled. Unclean, flanneled, bearded, muttering. 5% nation of corduroy. Even in a crowd as thick as the one in downtown, it was an attention getter. How you doing, sir? Hey. Can I help you? A police officer certainly noticed when I lingered in a public area outside the Olympic Village. Just uh, getting some cool air. Same thing outside ACOG headquarters. Need a head on, man. Making folks nervous. I'm making folks nervous. And especially when I stood conspicuously near police at Centennial Park. You've been standing here. Somebody said you were looking at little kids when they went walking by. Anything to that? Advocates for the homeless say police routinely harass and arrest people who have the undesirable look of the street, using new city ordinances to keep them out of public view, especially during the summer games. We have witnessed police sweeps and dramatic increases in the arrest of homeless people as large events have come to town. <laughs> if that's true, you might expect a guy who looks like I did to get swept away from the main entrance at Coca-Cola Olympic City. Arrested perhaps for the singing alone, but despite the presence of hundreds of well-scrubbed tourists, three nearby Atlanta police officers gave me only a cursory look. I lingered for perhaps 20 minutes before finally giving up, identifying myself, and asking the obvious question. How come you hadn't asked me to move along? Well, you're not breaking any laws. Everyone else is standing out here, too. You I, spotted me as a possible suspicious I, yeah. person. I, oh, yeah. Now, I was watching you, you know, but until you did anything, you know, that would violate the law, I wasn't going to say anything to you. In fact, despite my best efforts to appear unapproachable, a lot of folks were downright nice to the guy wearing the dirty clothes and the flannel shirt in July. Can you direct me to the Robinson Humphrey stock brokerage? Like the Atlanta ambassadors stationed around downtown to help visitors get around. Give me a street address on it. I can put you right there with a cross street on it. And at Underground, where scores of private security guards supplement the local police precinct. Nobody said a word to me, except for the food court vendor who offered me a free sample. Chicken? Thank you. Delicious. Likewise, at a pin trading center near Georgia Tech, where some out-of-town cops gave me barely a glance, even after I camped out at a table. And at a place called the Welcome South Visitor Center, again, where scores of fresh-faced tourists politely stepped around the dingy, slow-moving man who made himself at home on a bench. How you doing? And instead of getting thrown out, an employee sat down beside me and made conversation. Why would I want to throw you out of here? If you be respectful of me, I'm being respectful of you. So as long as I don't bother anybody, I can stay here. You cool with me. But we just try to keep an eye on folks. You would be what we would call a 54. A 54, what's that? Suspicious person. Most of the time, they get up and go. Downtown Atlanta's Woodruff Park is one of the few places where Atlanta's homeless can relax in public. And the Olympics hasn't changed that. They're not bothering you just because you look homeless? They, no, they're not bothering. They never have. You know, it's just one that, uh, you know, be get aggressive. You mind your business, they mind their, they won't bother you. If I'm going to ask you to move along, I might as well ask, you know, this group of folks right here to move along. What's the difference? 